Now this is the story all about how my teaching got flipped, turned upside down. So I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how to become the feedback queen, if you dare. In the west of Houston, they are born and raised in our classrooms. is where they spend most of their days. Chilling out, Max, and talking all cool. So now let's elevate their thinking with four simple rules. So when a couple of kids who are up to some good give you an answer like they know that they should. So you start with rule one and clarify what they said, which starts their thinking. It puts passivity to bed. It's time to build confidence in step two. So you compliment something specific and value what they do. Move on to step three where you show specific concern for a part of their answer, which starts their process to learn. You close out with step four by suggesting what to do so they have a path forward and can keep moving through. So no more pulling up to your desk on test day and yelling, miss, I don't know what to do or where I went astray. You can finally look at your students and know what they know as the feedback queen as you sit on your throne.